Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. That is, same thing multiplying can rise as 5 raised to power x or squared equals to 60 from here. The next step, this follows when we have a raised to power m raised to power n. Is the same thing as a raised to the power mn. That is, this power multiplies and this becomes 5 raised to the power 2x equals to 60 from here. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 5 raised to the power 2x equals to log 60 from here. And then next step, we apply the power law of logarithm when we have log m raised to the power p. The same thing as p log m. That is, here, what we have becomes 2x log 5 equals to log 60 on this side. And next step here, we divide both sides by log 5. Divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies here log 5 cancelled each other. We are left with 2x, which is equal to log 60 over log 5. Then, from here, we can write 60 as 5 times 12, which implies this becomes 2x equals to log 5 times 12 over log 5. Then here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, yeah, what we have becomes 2x equals to log 5 plus log 12 over log 5. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have 2x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 12 over log 5. That is, from here, we have log 5 cancel each other on one left here. That is 2x equals to 1 plus log 12 over log 5. Then, next step here, also, we can write 12 as 4 times 3. And what we have here becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 times 3 over log 5. That is, yeah, this also follows the law of logarithm. Now we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 plus log 3 over log 5. Then, from here, we separate this into two fractions. All we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. That is, also here, 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. All we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 square over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. That is, here we apply the power of log 2 comes there. All we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus 2 log 
2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. That is, here we apply change of base. From what we have log A over log B. And this is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. And also here, we divide both sides by 2. As this divide this side by 2, also divide this side by 2. At this here, 2 cancelled each other. And we are left with x, which is equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2. At this, the value of x here, we have 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute. The value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2. Then, what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2 then also times 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side at this here, we have same thing multiplying. Follows when we have a raised to power m times also a raised to power m. This same thing as a raised to power m plus m, which is 2 times m. At this, what we have followed is, I can be written as 5 raised to power 2 times the power, which is 1 plus 2 log 2 is 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side then here this power multiplies and 2 here cancel each other and we are left with 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 is it equals to 60 on this side here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. At this here, this becomes 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? That is. From here, 5 raised to power 1, that's 5 times. Here we can revise this 2 from power law, and we have 5 raised to power log 2 square is 5. And also times 5 raised to power log 3 is 5. Is this equals to 60 on this side? And this is the same thing as 5 times 5 raised to power log 2 square, that's 4 is 5. Times 5 raised to power log 3 is 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here, this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is, this becomes 5 times 4, then times 3. This is equal to 60 from here. Then 5 times 4, that's 20. 20 times 3, that's 60, which is equal to 60 here. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 
1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 or over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget to step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now